Last week, I picked up the most rad 2016 Gibson J45, and a lot of people said, hey, I want to hear more of it. As I took these out, I noticed something. Check this out. Hear that noise? That is the sound of, they're not bone, but they're tusk. So they're very dense. And so this will make your guitar sound a lot brighter, which is typically a problem on one of these, on the J45s, so they can be a little dark. So that's a really good feature. This is a guitar that you can tell that Gibson has really thought hard about on how to make a really great guitar. So here are the strings I got this week. I like these a lot. Uh, Andy McKee says that these are the best acoustic guitar strings. This is a 2016. Uh, what's funny is that the serial number says 16 and then it says 2017 on it. So maybe they stamped the neck and then they put the guitar together in 17. But it is a really great guitar. It sounds really good. It plays really well. I've restrung it. I restrung it with the aluminum bronze from Ernie Ball. It is an inch and 11 16 nut, which is a really comfortable if you're used to regular Martins. It's a very comfortable, very standard style neck. It's not very big, but it is very C-shaped, very round. Rosewood bridge, rosewood fingerboard, spruce top, mahogany back and sides, uh, spruce binding inside, black headstock overlay, really great headstock, just looks killer. So check this thing out. I think that it is a deal. I'm really tempted to keep this. A good test of an expensive guitar is the ability to play on a capo up the neck. I mean, this also will show part of the setup and how well the guitar has been put together to be a guitar. But this guitar, pretty much out of the box, uh, it needed a little TLC, a little restring, and some truss rod work. But, uh, but a good test of a guitar is how well it stays in tune as you put a capo up the neck.
The advantages to a short scale length, so this guitar is what, 24 and 3 quarters rather than 25 and a half. It's only 3 quarters of an inch, but you will notice it. It changes the geometry of the guitar, it changes the tension of the strings. So on this guitar, I'm normally a pretty much down the middle. I like playing light strings, but on these, they just, they move a lot. So if I'm not careful, I can pull stuff out of pitch because it's just a shorter scale length. It's less tension on the strings, but you can also get more dynamics out of the guitar. That's what I really like about this. this guitar is a total winner. I really dig it. Um, so here's the dream guitar challenge. I started with $500. I have snowballed my way up. By the time I bought this guitar, I had $2,100. Uh, and so at $2,100, that was in like five moves, uh, $2,100, I put $1,300 into this guitar, which I think is a good deal. Uh, I should make two or $300 on this guitar. That would bring me up to a total of around $2,400. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the next couple steps. I have a couple deals that would be bigger things that I would sell, you know, five and six guitars, buying them at a time. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out a way to document that to bring you along. I also have narrowed down what guitar I want as my dream guitar. I want to hold off. I, I, I've wanted a Martin D45 for a long time, but I haven't allowed myself to actually dream about these things. So I, I, as I've thought about it, as I've worked through, there is one guitar that I always have thought that would be my dream guitar. And it's an unusual one. It's one you probably didn't see coming. Um, I'm working with some friends at, at a couple different places to figure out who could build this great guitar for me. Um, so stay tuned. I promise I'm not baiting you on. It will totally be worth it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. If you want me to do more demos, uh, that's something that I haven't done much in the past, but I really enjoy demonstrating guitars, telling you their advantages, pointing out their disadvantages, and helping you find great guitars that inspire you and make you a better guitar player. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. Go to jeremytheguitarhunter.com, buy yourself a t-shirt, become a guitar hunter who fills the world with music and friendship. Alright, all done. Let's go back upstairs.